Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between demand pull and cost push inflation. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. To understand the two types of inflation, first we should have an understanding of the term inflation. Inflation is the increase in the general price level of goods and services that leads to the decrease in the purchasing power of the common man. It is often measured through consumer price index. Further, inflation can be caused either by demand side, supply side or both the factors. Come, let's talk about demand pull inflation. Demand pull inflation arises when there is an increase in the aggregate demand for goods and services. Now you must be wondering, what is aggregate demand? So friends, aggregate demand is the quantity of goods and services demanded by households, firm and government plus net exports. Net exports is equal to the difference between exports and imports. In short, aggregate demand is equals to consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports. An example of demand pull inflation is the increase in gasoline prices in America in mid of 2022. Talking about the components of demand pull inflation. Increased demand. Demand pull inflation is driven by a surge in demand for goods and services. This increase in demand can stem from various factors like increased consumer spending, investment, government expenditures or even strong export demand. Full employment. For demand pull inflation to occur, the economy is typically operating close to or at full employment. When inputs are fully utilized, an increase in demand cannot be met with a corresponding increase in supply, leading to higher prices. Next, supply constraints. The economy's ability to respond to increased demand is limited due to constraints on production capacity. This might include limitations in the availability of skilled labor, production equipment or raw materials. Monetary policy. In some cases, an expansionary monetary policy can contribute to increased demand and consequently leads to demand pull inflation. Next, impact on prices. As demand exceeds supply, businesses may respond by raising prices to balance the market. This can lead to a general increase in the price level across various sectors of the economy. Next, positive feedback loop. Demand pull inflation can create a positive feedback loop as prices rise, consumers may expect further increases, prompting them to buy now rather than later. This in turn fuels additional demand contributing to sustained inflationary pressures. Moving on to cost push inflation. Cost push inflation is the rise in the general price level in the economy caused by an increase in cost of production or supply side shocks. Higher cost of production result in increased prices leading to a decrease in aggregate demand in the economy. Aggregate supply is the quantity of goods and services supplied by the firm. Examples of factors affecting the cost of production include a rise in labor wages or the increase in the price of raw materials like fuel. Moreover, cost push inflation may also be caused by depletion of natural resources, monopoly and so on. An example of cost push inflation can be seen in the energy sector that is oil and natural gas prices. Talking about the components of cost push inflation. Rising production cost. Cost push inflation is driven by an increase in the cost of production. This can include higher cost of raw materials, labor, energy or other essential inputs that businesses need to produce goods and services. Next, supply shock. External factors such as geopolitical events, natural disasters or disruptions to the supply chain can lead to a sudden reduction in the availability of key inputs. This supply shock can trigger a rapid increase in the production cost. Next, reduced aggregate supply. When the cost of production rise significantly, businesses may choose to produce less, leading to reduction in aggregate supply. This reduction in overall supply of goods and services relative to demand puts upward pressure on the prices. Wage increases. If there is a widespread increase in wages across industries, Businesses may pass these higher labor costs on to consumers through higher prices for their products. Next, inflationary spiral. Cost push inflation can contribute to inflationary spiral as businesses raise prices in response to increased cost 
consumers in turn may demand higher wages to cope with rising living expenses this cycle can continue creating an ongoing inflationary trend next central bank responses central banks often respond to cost push inflation by adjusting monetary policy if inflation expectations become prolonged central banks might implement measures to tighten monetary policy and cool down the economy moving on to the difference between demand pull and cost push inflation demand pull inflation is a rise in the general price level due to increase in the aggregate demand for goods and services and production levels are unable to meet this demand immediately on the other hand cost push inflation is a condition when the supply of goods or services is limited in some way but demand remains same pushing up the prices for example the rise in the price of inputs leads to the decreased supply of these goods while demand remains constant the prices of commodities increase causing a rise in the overall price level next rise in price level in demand pull inflation price level rises because of excess demand conditions in the market whereas in cost push inflation the rise in the price level is due to the increased cost of production next factors population growth rise in income increased consumer spending government spending etc are some of the common demand pull factors as against rise in the price of factors of production like hike in fuel prices higher raw material prices rising wage cost etc are cost push factors next mechanism in demand pull inflation the unfulfilled demand causes prices to rise setting a new equilibrium in the economy whereas in cost push inflation rising cost of raw material and inputs prompts producers to raise prices next reason demand pull inflation is caused by monetary and real factors demand pull inflation due to monetary factors is when when there is an increase in the money supply then the increase in the level of output whereas demand pull inflation due to real factors includes the increase in government spending without the change in tax revenue fall in tax rates with no change in government spending increase in investment decrease in savings increase in exports decrease in imports etc on the other hand cost push inflation is caused by monopolistic groups of the society through market power and price control limited competition supply chain control creation of collusion and cartels etc last but not the least policy recommendations in case of demand pull inflation monetary and fiscal measures are implemented by the government which includes change in interest rates open market operations taxation reserve requirements etc in contrast in case of cost push inflation administrative control on the price rise and income policy through minimum wage laws progressive taxation social welfare programs income redistribution etc are some of the measures that government implements so friends this is all for today i hope the difference between demand pull and cost push inflation is clear to you now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of demand pull and cost push inflation along with their definitions links are also provided in the description box below so guys i hope you like this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people Also if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbhi signing off